What is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be recalibrating the FMU with the uh, new disc, 12 to 1 disc. Maybe looking at some AFM uh, tuning, um, just doing some idle adjustments and uh, yeah, it's going to be lit. Stay tuned. Take a wild guess how much these two things cost. $52 shipped, so that's crazy in my mind. Kind of a cheapskate, but yeah, it's a nice Vortec part. It's just gonna fit perfect and whatnot, and uh, it's the right membrane and right size washer. Uh, it's a 12 to one, so I'm sure I could have made this somehow, and I was thinking about it, but uh, I just justified paying for it because it just comes ready to use and whatnot, so. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking at throwing it in the car. Um, I'm just gonna be taking off this strut bar and moving this uh, power steering over and getting at my FMU, which I put way down in there. So yeah, let's get to it. Got a better look at the FMU here. I just pulled the power steering over and got rid of the strut bar. You can see it right there. Um, it's a pretty good spot for it, really. I'd suggest using that spot. Um, so there used to be a charcoal canister here and uh, even on the European cars, it didn't even have a charcoal canister. So basically you just cap some things off and uh, literally remove this whole line all the way up to the back of the car and then throw it all in the garbage. And then there's these two threaded holes in the frame rail there. So I just built a little bracket and that goes right there, but it is hard to get to. I'm just gonna take that bracket off and uh, try to get these fuel lines off get it up here on the workbench and uh, start taking her apart. Alright, I finally got it out. It was a pain. Uh, this fuel line, which goes to the tank, was real stuck on there. Um, eventually I got it with just brute force, but yeah, I uh, just t took off these worm clamps. Uh, you should be using different style clamps. One's more like this that clamp evenly because uh, it's fuel injection, but um, I'm a hypocrite, who cares? So basically I'm just gonna take this apart. Um, it's just these bolts on the top. Alrighty, so you got kind of a bird's eye view here of my messy workbench, but I'm just gonna be going over the uh, components of this FMU and what we're gonna be switching out. So I took these uh, six top mount uh, bolts off and then I'm just gonna pop this uh, top part off if I can get it off. I had to struggle to break this free because um, I put some thread thread locker like sealant on these bolts and it looks like it uh, leaked through onto the diaphragm so I'm not going to be doing that um, in the future so I was just hoping that it would not have any air leaks out of here but I think there'd probably be a better solution to that. This. Uh, Diaphragm's a little bit worn out. I'm gonna keep it because it's not ripped it anywhere, but uh, I'll be using this new unit. So there's just this top plate where the uh, boost comes in. And then uh, this is like a six to one disc. You can see it's much smaller. So uh, basically just uh, PSI surface areas and everything. So this smaller disc is gonna have less of a force pushed down on this uh, little piston here when compared to this bigger one uh, this is the largest unit it doesn't require a little holder ring like the other one so this is the full size of this FMU and basically it's going to use all of its uh, surface area to push down on this piston so just figured I'd quick show you the other uh, half of the FMU I just took that uh, Part where the fuel goes in and out off the bottom you can see there's this uh, second diaphragm and a little crush crush plate um, that's just going to get pushed on by this piston and uh, it squeezes off these fuel lines essentially so it ups your fuel pressure so so yeah this little piston just squeezes down on this and it pinches off between these two lines not too sure how stupid this is but I'm going to be checking this uh, FMU out for leaks I won't go over like uh, too many PSI, like 10 PSI, just see if it leaks out anywhere on there. Alright, let's see what happens. 
There's 10 PSI. All right, you got the FMU back in. You can see right there. It's got that diaphragm kind of poking out all around it. Um, yeah, I uh, thermally insulated the uh, inlet tube there. I think it looks ridiculous, but there's like that gold tape. It like reflects heat basically. Um, I'm gonna rock with it for a while. If I uh, decide it looks too stupid, I'll take it off, but it should technically, you know, let less heat go into that tube from the hot engine bay. Uh, I don't know if it actually works or what, but yeah, I did that and uh, got the FMU all hooked up, all the lines are hooked up. I had to uh, replace a fuel line that was a little too short with a cheap fuel line, so I had really high pressure good stuff that's expensive, and now I have this cheap fuel line, but that's okay. Gonna take it for a rip and uh, see what she does out in this uh, snowy wonderland. It's getting dark outside, but this is what the 12 to 1 uh, FMU disc. You can see it idling here at about 13. This is the fuel pressure gauge, totally broken, and the boost gauge. Looking at 1,000 RPMs uh, at idle just because the uh, idle control valve is deleted. It could probably go down to about 800, but that's where it sits now. So I'm going to take it out and hit some like boost. It's about four pounds. We'll see where these AFRs go to. All right, sorry for the shaking. This is going to be third gear, uh, pretty slow. wrapped up a quick road trip after throwing that new FMU disc in there. It's uh, hitting pretty good AFR values, about 14 um, at four pounds of boost. And I'm not gonna go up higher in the boost. I just had a thought about how to use this uh, eBay boost controller. So you should buy one that has a like internal um, like air check valve. So they included this T, which is supposed to have one. And mine was messed up, so right now it's just a T with no check valve, but basically I have it set up so it um, comes in line with this uh, bypass actuator and then um, it goes to the, the check valve so it's going to divert air away and then I have the other side of it which normally would just be like a vacuum or boost leak um, hooked up to the top side because I have a dual um, like inlet um, actuator so that it's going to force air to keep it down. So the more I turn it, the more it's going to keep it down um, and turn the boost up uh, along with diverting air away. So I think that's a good way to do it since I have this dual um, inlet bypass actuator. Uh, most people couldn't do that and they would need that air check valve. But I'm going to go see if it works and uh, how it works with the new um, FMU disc. Alright guys, I know it's dark, but if this thing's working great, that FMU disc did wonders. Uh, just hit like 7 pounds of boost and it was at like 12 for the AFRs, so that's like ideal if not a little bit rich, so that's awesome. Something went terribly wrong, it's running way too rich, and it smells like gas. I think one of the vacuum lines popped off and it's getting like a uh, real bad vacuum leak, so i going to pull off here. It's idling like shit too, so yeah, it's running like no boost right now, and it's running 10, so that's terrible. All right, my injector's leaking really bad. Uh, the higher fuel pressures blew out the O-ring. I'm driving home, hoping it doesn't burn to the ground. Bought two gallons of water at the gas station I went to, just in case. Let's take a quick look what it looks like here. Yeah, it's still pissing out. Let's take a look. Flash on now. Um, see right there how it's moving? It's uh, pissing out of this O-ring, out of this injector it looks like. 
Alright guys, crisis averted for now. It was this injector, same as last time. Um, except for last time it didn't have high fuel pressure. So it looks like right as it goes over 40 PSI fuel pressure, it uh, blows that out. So I need to look into that. Uh, maybe a little dab of grease on the O-rings and seat them better. Um, I have some extra injectors um, up here somewhere. Right here, extra injectors. They're from a Ford like Mustang, uh, something, something. These are brand new, I think. So hopefully, uh, maybe that'll work. I'll put put that in there or something. But yeah, that was pretty messed up. Puddles of gas all through here because I think that one's leaked over, over, over. So just kind of let it sit. Maybe just evaporate, I guess. I made it back safe. Um, FMU is clearly working since it blew that uh, O-ring out, but yeah, definitely gonna have to uh, work on that before I take the long road trip to put this thing away for the winter. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, it was enjoyable. Um, stick around for the future dank vids. Peace.